Today I want to show you how I restored this Grizzly router table that I found on Facebook Marketplace. The person I purchased it from left it outside once they were finished using it, and the top flask rusted. All the aluminum and powder coated surfaces were in great shape, but the cast iron took a big hit. The first thing I did was remove all the accessories from the top and I flipped it over. If anyone else has ever dealt with a cast iron table before, then you know just how heavy these are. So before I spend too much time moving this table around the garage, I wanted to put some locking casters on it. Once I pulled off the rubber feet, I had to drill out the holes to fit the casters. Now if I used smaller casters, I probably would have saved myself this trouble, but I needed the larger wheels to cross over my expansion joints. I used a large bit the size of the caster's bolt for the first hole, and it did okay, but it wasn't very easy to start with, so I switched to a tapered unibit for the remaining holes. What do you call these bits? Unibits? Step bits? Let me know in the comments. With the mobility taken care of, I moved on to the more daunting task of rust removal. Now I say daunting, as most would see this as hard, and honestly that's probably why it was posted at such a low price, but please believe me when I say that it's not hard at all. I can confidently say that, because this is my third cast iron top that I've restored, and it's in the best shape. The cheat code for this is BioShields Rust Free. Now in the beginning of this process, I'm spraying it on the rag, and then I'm wiping off the rust. That's not how I recommend proceeding. Now if you look closely, you'll see that I soak the top with the rust free, and then I'll let it sit for a little bit. One to two minutes will be perfect. That will let the product to do the work of eating rust. If you want to further speed up the process, then grab a green or white scotch Bright pad, and then give that a scrub. If you have anything that's rusted over, do yourself a favor. Click on the link in the description and get yourself a bottle. You will not regret this purchase. Just like that, boom. Beautiful, clean, rust-free top. I rounded out the restoration with T9 Corrosion Preventative Spray. Now remember to use the T9 whenever you plan on letting your machinery sit for a while. If you spend a little time up front in the preventative maintenance, it will pay you back when you're ready to start making sawdust again.